What's up, Michael here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the bullet points in an unordered list in Webflow to something more nice like these checkmark icons or really any icon or image you want for that matter. Now, this does require custom code, but you might be wondering why would we do custom code for something that we can easily do in Webflow where we just drop in an image, drop in a text block, put it inside of a div, and then apply flex, and we have the exact same layout. The reason why is this is actually a dynamic page that is pulling these lists from the CMS. Down the road, we don't know if a certain resource is gonna have two bullet points, five bullet points, and we want this to update automatically. So if we just hard coded into the page three lists, we wouldn't be able to add or remove um, list. So as you can see, this is actually an unordered list in Webflow using the rich text element. If I go to the CMS under free resources, you can see the bullet list field. It is just a rich text field and we have an unordered list inside there. If I add a list real quick, a list item, an example item, hit save. You can see in the Webflow preview, we have it nicely added. If I were to publish this and then refresh the live page, you can see it nicely added another list item below the other list items. So it's updating perfectly and it has these nice icons. That way we're not just limited to these three list items. So without any further ado, let's get right into the CSS. It's just a few lines of code and I'll drop a link in the description where you can just copy and paste it really easy. So what you want to do is so this doesn't apply to your entire page, you want to find your CMS page you're going to use this on. You can technically use it on any page, but for this example, it's going to be a, CS, um, a CMS page. Click on your page settings and then scroll down and in your head tag this is the code we are going to be writing now if you only wanted to apply this this to certain unordered lists with a certain class you could add a class to this code and then you would only add this functionality to a list with that class that is for a separate video or you can just google it. it's pretty simple so first what we have is we are applying two styles to the unordered list as a whole and then we're applying four styles to the list items themselves so for the unordered list section we have UL and then in the squirrely brackets, we have two styles, padding zero. That just means that is gonna take away the automatic indentation for unordered lists because by, by default, they indent to the right. And then we say list style type none. This basically removes the bullet points so that they're not shown. And then under the list item, we start with our background image and then within the URL, this is where you paste the link to the image that you are using. If I close out of this page real quick, go to the assets panel, you can see we are using this image right here and you can just click on it, copy the link, go to your page and then go down to the code and you just paste the link in. So this icon is being hosted on this site. Next thing you wanna do is there is background repeat. You wanna write in no repeat so that this image or this icon is actually a background image to the list item and we don't want it to repeat, we want it just to be um, one single image. And then we have padding left. What this does is by default, this text, since this is a background image, technically, this text would be right here over top of the list image. So all you have to do is just put in a value. I put in two REMs. That's just gonna be how much this text is gonna be pushed over to the right. And then the background position, the first number is horizontal and the second number, second number is a vertical. So depending on the icon you need, you use, it may, you may have to update um, those values. But basically the first value will position the image horizontal. So a little to the left or to the right. And then the second value will do horizontal. So up and down. By default, when I did this, this icon was um, a little bit down below the text. So I just added in three pixels to kind of make it look a little bit more uniform. So that is it. Once you apply that code, whatever image you used, you will nicely be seeing bullet points like this using whatever image you used. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll do the best we can to respond. And actually, if you do want to pick up this free resource that we, we were using as an example, you can do so at this page. I'll drop a link in the description. Basically, it goes over the top five mistakes we've seen startups make um, after launching our consulting service about a year ago. It's completely free, it's about 19 pages, and it covers the five most common mistakes, plus how to avoid them altogether. And lastly, if you are looking for a Webflow developer or a consultant for your project, there are links in the description below where you can book a call with me directly.